Inside Chris Evans' Insane Ferrari Collection Number 1. Ferrari 250 GTO Chris Evans is a well-known British celebrity. He's a radio DJ, TV host and entrepreneur. But above all, Chris is a huge petrol head. Chris is said to have expressed a desire to earn enough money to purchase a 250 GTO after developing a taste for Ferraris. And he did just that in 2010. He paid $17.7 million for what has to be the most prized trophy of all cars, a red 1963 Ferrari 250 GTO. Only 36 of these incredible cars were produced, and their extremely wealthy lucky owners, members of the exclusive GTO club, have seen their investments pay off handsomely. One of these vintage Italian race cars was sold for $70 million in 2018, making it the world's most expensive car. Number 2. Ferrari 250 GT California Spider while filming The Great Escape, James Coburn purchased this car, which he kept for the next 25 years. Chris, founder of Carfest, bought it for $8 million in 2008, and he featured it in one of the Top Gear episodes he hosted before his ill-fated stint as Jeremy Clarkson's replacement ended. Before the SWB version replaced them in 1960, Ferrari produced 50 long wheelbase models. This car may look familiar because it is very similar to the red one featured in the 1986 film Ferris Bueller's Day Off, in which a replica version of one of these beautiful rides plummeted to its death through a window. A 1962 model sold for $9 million in 2012, and the car above, an SWB model, sold for $11 million in 2019. Number 3. Ferrari 250 TR61 Spider Fantuzzi you might notice a pattern emerging here. As you can see, the radio DJ prefers the 250. Chris has had the opportunity to own another vintage Ferrari race car, the 250TR or Testarossa. In fact, it was one of only 33 made. The TR250, known for its distinctive shark nose design, served as the inspiration for the fantastic F430 road-going sports car. Chris's Spider is rumoured to have been driven by legendary Belgian drivers Paul Freer and Oliver Gendebien at the famous Le Mans races. Sotheby's sold a 1957 250TR for $11 million in 2009, and a private buyer paid $39.8 million for one in 2014. Number 4. Ferrari 250 GT Berlinetta Lusso Chris is said to have paid more than $2 million for this lovely GT car, one of 350 built by Ferrari between 1962 and 1964. This vehicle was equipped with a 3.0-litre V12 Colombo engine and was only intended for road use. Another stunning Pininfarina design, this time with a Scaglietti body shell. It's difficult to believe that this car's original asking price was $13,375 and that by 2010, its value had risen to more than $500,000. Then, less than five years later, the price quadrupled. Sotheby sold a 1964 250 GTL for approximately $2.28 million in 2018. Number 5. Ferrari 550 Maranello Chris had most likely paid around $161,000 for this V12 two-seater supercar, which he tragically crashed into a verge near his Surrey home in 2005. And despite his embarrassment, he was able to laugh it off as two men recovered it from the ditch, minus its front bumper. The 550 was manufactured between 1996 and 2001 and is powered by a 5.5-litre V12 engine with a top speed of just under 200 miles per hour. Prices for base model 550s can range from $60,000 to $300,000, depending on condition. The more expensive Barchetta model can fetch higher prices. Bonham sold one in December 2019 for $780,000. Number 6. Ferrari California Chris was frequently seen flying around London between social engagement in this bright yellow Ferrari California, a car that, like Chris, is extremely colourful and vibrant. Chris's model was manufactured between 2008 and 2017 and is powered by a 4.3-litre V8 engine with 450 bhp. The original California model can accelerate from 0 to 62 miles per hour in 4 seconds and has a top speed of 193 miles per hour. Chris would have paid well into the six figures for this vehicle. Prices for these cars can also vary greatly. In 2018, a T-model sold in the United Kingdom for $350,000. Number 7. Ferrari 328 GTS Chris sold one of these cars for $34,750 at Barnes Auctions in 2012. When you consider what it would be worth today, he probably regrets the sale. 
This mid-engine two-seater sports car from the mid-1980s is powered by a 3.2-litre V8 engine and is regarded as one of the most dependable classic Ferraris on the market. According to Wikipedia, the GTS could accelerate to 60 miles per hour in 5.9 seconds and reach a top speed of 163 miles per hour. This car, made famous by the US TV series Magnum, has some really cool features that set it apart from some of Chris's other cars, such as pop-up headlamps from the 1980s and a rare dogleg gearbox. It's difficult to put a price on these cars. Some have sold for as little as $70,000 and others for more than $220,000 at UK auction houses. Number 8. Ferrari 275 GTB 6C this Pininfarina designed automobile debuted in Paris in 1964. In 1966, Ferrari built only 12 of these lightweight 275 GTB racing cars, each powered by a 3.3 litre Colombo V12 engine. In 2015, Chris auctioned off this extremely rare light green 1966 275 GTB 6E model. The auction estimate ranged from $3.5 million to $4 million. However, this is not Chris's only 275 GTB. He also owned a red one. A 1966 Ferrari 275 GTB was sold online for $3.08 million last year in 2020. Number 9. Ferrari 458 Special Chris purchased one of these incredible supercars, Ferrari's replacement for the F430, in 2014. The 458 was manufactured between 2009 and 2015 and is powered by a 4.5-litre V8 with 560 bhp.